Oh, it's real life here at Giami. Text should be going out. Hopefully, y'all be getting them. Uh, I couldn't personalize them. I want to start hyping up our site, GiamiJourney.com. You go there and you get everything Giami. You can also check us out on Gum Road. You know what I'm saying? To help support, you know what I'm saying? Whether you get a book, or, you know what I'm saying? We got several books out. Here's one. At this point in time, the most popular book outside of Player's Pyramid. But this one, we got a show for it. I guess I'm going to have to develop a show for Player's Pyramid in some form or fashion. But I'm imagining that all my stuff is uh, one for Player's Pyramid. But family, unfortunately... I ain't going to be able to hang around too long. I got the lines open. Well, I guess if we start kicking it. Because I'm taking my kids. My daughters want to see Black Panther. They haven't seen it. So I'm going to give them the opportunity that Cleve had. You know what I'm saying? And let them go on and see. You know what I'm saying? All these beautiful black women on screen running around kicking some butt. You know what I'm saying? I might not agree with Wakanda. In the comic books, hiding why everybody else in the, in the continent is suffering, but I do appreciate the images, and it was a pretty, it was a actually it was a pretty good movie. You know what I'm saying with the twists and turns and stuff. So I know that I'm gonna have to prepare myself because Sasha and Gina gonna have questions, right? Yeah, you know I got to hide the scissors because they might want to be you know, the hide the door Melange. Hide the sizzles. After the movie, you know. Hide the sizzles. Yes, your clothes are in the dryer. Your mom said you could find clothes. I am gonna look for All right, clothes. go on, go on. It's real life here, Giamme. Real life. Make sure you got your water. Make sure you got your glass. Lines are open 614-556-4535. If you want to call in, join the conversation. But let's do the toast first. But first, before we do that, I need to remind you that you are now listening to Giamme Journey. That's right, that's right. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. And this is the Daily Toast where we strive to blow up those old paradigms. Shots out to Amatu. She's toasting with us. She got some ass. She, you know, she making the Ambrose in her house. She making that tune in the house. Shots out to Brother Shock. I see you out there. Shots out to my auntie, Miss Loretta Burroughs. Thank you for joining us, and you know how it goes down. Oh, grab your glasses, call your friends, like and share. Oh, we got some music, and the bass ain't breaking up. I'm going to get some better speakers, but you know what you can do until I do that drink your water. Come on.
to those babies. We got to go on and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of the difficulties and all that, I've already been on the show this morning. Um, I didn't do this show. I went to uh, Main Street and sat with Brother Charles. Charles Trailing did uh, a show about the Malcolm X Festival with him. Then I went out and got my tires changed. Then I went and got cut up, you know, because I, I got a award ceremony to go to tonight for my brother. Shouts out to Brother Taiwan. Because he going out there, he doing big things, you know what I'm saying? And he's getting, like, educator of the year or something like that. So I'm going out there to support him, you know what I'm saying? And, yo, I mean, it's just an overall creative day. Me and Cleve going to get out here to this garden, and we're going to um, uh, measure it out through the tw square foot method. We're going to experiment with the 12-foot method, trying to pack as much food as we can in a little space so that we can, you know, talk about this, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it might get Cleve on the show to talk about it because he already showed you some of his plants. You know what I'm saying? He's showing his creativity far as the excitement. Let me say, family, listen. Your kids might act like they're not interested in gardening, but they can't help you amazed when they see these little things pop, um, popping up in their rooms. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the little plant things that you do with the preschoolers and the kindergartners, it really works on the older kids, too. You know, they don't know it, so we got to keep it between us, right? Because if they know they're going to be amazed, they might try to act unamazed to uh, to, to, to kind of keep us upset with it, right? Cleve, looking in, he's like, I'm doing something right. The plants is coming in. He's getting plants and stuff, and he's excited about it. I'm whispering because I don't want him to know. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, you can ruin it when you show your excitement for it. Because as a parent, sometimes our children want to go opposite of what we like. So you act like you know, I'm not a baby. You know, whatever. You know, but deep down you're like, yes, victory. You know what I'm saying? Because he told me maybe two years ago that he wanted to be a farmer. You know, I'm like a farmer. And and what I'm trying to demonstrate to him is be careful what you ask for. Because right after he said that all types of opportunities start popping up in our lives. Right? All types of opportunities start popping up in me and his life where there's a reason that we need to guard. There's a reason that we need to get him out here into this land. There's a, you know, even even on the inside during the winter time, he was working around these plants at the school. And it's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? See him out here trying to hustle these greens. You know what I'm saying? The right type of greens. You know what I'm saying? The legal type of greens. 
and um, I'm real proud of them, but, you know, we you know, ain't going to say it all the time. I let them know, but we can't say it all the time. Hey, man, y'all going to get ready. No, I ain't done yet. All right, I see you, Gina. It's going to get cold in that movie theater. All right, so here we go. We are on Kumba today. For those that close that door. Can I get my clothes? Your clothes are still in the dryer. I will pull them out the dryer. You and Gina must get in there and try to brush your hair or something. Shots are getting her hair done tomorrow. Uh, the day is Kaumba. It's the day of creativity. Modic principle is order. Colors orange. Hermetic laws cause and effect. Male name for the day is Kwame. Female name is Ama. All right. In the African Center Cultural Virtue and Value System that's used by the Emotional Emancipation Circle, today in Warlock will be Job or Job. Good character, just, honest, and righteous. Um, a car and ethic, strong character. And in uh, Yoruba, it'll be Oju Inu, Insight. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is a little bit later on, maybe later on tonight, depends on how I feel, I have to come back. Well, pot, no, I ain't going to say that. Let's say tomorrow when we get them to do the toast, we also will have an extended conversation about the Proverbs of the week that we missed. And what I want to do also between today and tomorrow is to develop, oh yeah, wow, a farmer, his cousin Richard will graduate and fall with that, what? They had, yes, yeah, oh yeah. I mean, our, I mean you got to think about it. Our ancestors be working. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, it's certain things that pop up in families. You'd be like, is this a coincidence? You know what I'm saying? But yo, you know, co coincidence and God can't exist in the same universe. You know what I'm saying? The all-knowing God, coincidence and God can't coincide. It's just like God and love. Dude. You can't have both of them. You know what I'm saying? You either you got an all-knowing being that's kind of directing everything and having things and got ancestors working or you got luck or coincidence. You know what I'm saying? No, it's called divine intervention. It's like, yo, our ancestors like, yo, the basics. What is the basics of culture? Food. You know what I'm saying? We got young people right now that's interested in growing and they come from the same bloodline. What? Business opportunity. <laughs> So here we go, family. Here we go. So some of y'all out there that may have those plots of land, because like part of part of the initiation process that we have for Giami, and, and, it, and it grows and it evolves, and some of the stuff we're gonna be doing with the with the village, the Tawi village. Part of those, some of that can involve gardening, farming. You know what I'm saying? It's called urban farming. And we need to really get our kids to understand that if you take control, if we take control of the food, being able to offer a staple, right? Like, for example, um, family, um, we're doing tower gardens inside the building. I want you to understand this. This what tower garden is. It's like, it's aeroponics, right? And the food grows fast. We got 10 of them in the school. What stop us from getting 50 of them in the school? I'm just saying. What, what's the stop us from getting two and three of them in our house and some of y'all getting them in your house so that we could take control of the state and be like, yo, y'all gonna buy greens? Family, black folks like greens? Hey, we got the greens for you. Right here. You know what I'm saying? Freshly grown, you know, ain't no chemicals used on them. It's totally healthy. You know what I'm saying? We got to be creative and how we talk about liberation. We just can't be mad and wanting to burn everything down because an army moves on its belly. And if you can't control the food, you can't go to war. If you're not in control of your food, you can't go to war. Y'all got to understand that. Any type of war. If you're not controlling your food, you can't. It, it's even hard to protest because all they got to do is shut down your neighborhood, stop the food supplies from coming in. Everything is back to normal. After they eradicate the radicals.
Alright. So here we go, family. I'm almost done with the water. I got a little bit of ambrosia left, but you know what? I'm about to start brewing. Yes, I am. I'm going to be brewing. And I'm doing a, a different experiment this time. What I'm going to do is I'm changing the tea. I'm moving to a different grade, a different level of green tea. Yes, I am. So I have to go buy some extra honey because I might need because the greener and the stronger the tea is, the more honey I might need. Hey, uh, Jim, uh, Sasha, you need to find a hat. Okay. This one, I don't even remember what it is. We're just going to pour it in. We're going to toast these ancestors. And me and the kids is up and out. Because I'm quite sure they got previews. So we got, we got a few minutes. And I want to thank y'all for toasting the ancestors. And it feel good. And once again, I need to stress the the honor that you paid me for. In the sense being the keeper of the ancestors. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's a title. But hell, I, you know, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Being able to, to salute these ancestors on a daily. And we got some new additions to the family today. Because like I said, every time we toast, family, we, we come closer like, I, like my auntie just demonstrated, right? My, my son has never met his, his older cousin, but his older cousin is in school for something that his little cousin is, is interested in. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We got to understand when we open up and we allow the ancestors to start working in our lives, Actually, even before we even start letting them work in our lives, they're working. This energy is working, right? And they all are working towards our success. We got to understand that. And all we got to do is be open enough to the experiences to allow it to flow and look at the opportunities and take the opportunities by the hand and, 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 and pull them to where we need to be or allow them to pull us to where we need to be. All right? So now... Giving honor to the creator by whatever name you choose, call it creator. We lift the glass and we say, Ashe. From there we move on to the stars of the show. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Tech Center, Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walter, Crystal Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland, Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avara Brown, Jimmy Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pimentel, No More X, Pat Mara, Malika Fakua, Dr. Mary Ann Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman. Thank you, Sasha. Elder Robert Donaldson, now for Brofro Actor Jr., J. Edwards. Thank you. Carl Al Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez, um, Inez Harris, William, Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek, Derek L. Pulling, the Luxor Brothers, Miss. Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Miss Alonzo Johnson, Miss Mary McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trey, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Random, Virginia Rogers, Reverend, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Jane uh, Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Weller, Vita Farmer, I go so soon, Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, The Ellis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Gerald Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Erica, Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Kitchler Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Darrell Giles Watson, Sparrow Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, and Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mike, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quells, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quells, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles yeah. Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.E. Johnson, Adele Rita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, 
Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levesta, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinez, Elder Amitab Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Hart, Frank and Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Bina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. So we got some additions. So let me go and find out a list. We got Defridus Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred um, Scantleberry, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Miriam Johnson, Wilbert Longmire, Edith Catney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Peanut Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren P. Fence, Tim Ingalls, R.G. Fence, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sissonball, Hazel Gaston, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Albert, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Dole, Amina Robinson, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Donald Hill, Richard Glebus, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Void Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Archie Beck and Anna McGill, Aunt Becker, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula, Andrew, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie, Harriet Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Sanders, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Vivian Stevenson, Mama Ann Lewis, Cornetta L Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chapel Jackson, Michael Slade, Joan Ann Perkins, and Richard Jackson. I got to read my own writing. I apologize. Um, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, and Mary Williams, Leroy Key Hughes Sr., Albert Moore. Miss Vanilla, Alice Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, and Erlington Houston. Family, those of you that are new to the show, or if you're old and you have some older, those, those daily toasters, right? If you have some ancestors that you want to put on the list, by all means, shout them out. Put them on the timeline, I get them. Or you can hit me at 614-300. 1875 and and, and 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 throw in hashtag ancestors and just type in and uh, text text that in you would I get a form back and in that form you better put the ancestors or you could just text me the names of your ancestors just fill out the form so that you could be added to the phone book so I can keep you up on when the shows are popping off and other community events and speaking of a community event we have the Malcolm X festival coming up um, it'll be May 19th. It'll be 12 to 8 p.m. at 3500 Refugee Road, right? Columbus, Ohio, 43232. We're going to have live music. We're going to have DJs. We're going to have uh, a poetry. We're going to have a field day for the kids. We're going to have a bunch of activities going on for the kids. We're going to have, we're going to be introducing people to the uh, um, emotional emancipation circles and et cetera. We also have a great speaker, Brother Abu Ture, who's going to be coming in talking about the relevance of Malcolm X then and now. So it's going to be popping off. So make sure y'all join. So we lift up the glass to those ancestors and we say our shade. From their family, we salute the moment. We know that we are in Kaumba, and right now we're 
activating the reticular formations, that part of our brain that helps us hone in on what we seek. And we're going to move out some of the negative stuff that we've been taught to seek, and we're going to seek out that kaumba. We're going to seek that creativity, right? From there, we're going to move on to the future, and we're going to toast, on my fault, we're going to toast the, the present. From there, we move on to our future. We toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity because everything that we think, say, and do affects them. So we need to be clear about that. Our present don't mess, it don't belong to us. It belongs to them, right? We got to understand that we're bringing our children out here and they're competing with generational money. They're competing with generational wealth. So we have to at least give them something. We got to leave them something. If it's nothing but a book that you wrote about your experience so that they, if they run into it, they can overcome it. You understand what I'm saying? They already got a, 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 a playbook on how to get past it. You know what I'm saying? And then we could start moving up to leaving material things. Well, you know what I'm saying? Some 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 capital that our children could work with. At that, We're not at that point in time right now. Some of us are not at that point in time. A majority of us are not at that point in time now. But there is something you could do to make sure that your future is safe. And that is pass on your story. Because that, you know what I'm saying? Pass on your story. Pass on your wisdom. Leave it for them so they can get it. That's your treasure if you don't have anything else. All right? So we lift up our glass and we say, I shake. We move on from there. We move to all of our relations. We toast and we say, I shake. And last but not least, we toast the most. Hold on. We toast the most important thing going on right now. We toast you. Toast each and every last one of you. And I thank you for being present. And with that, we say, I say, I say, I say. And what we tell them, Gina? We wish you peace, power, and joy in 100 years. She said, We wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. We are out. Let me get Sasha's clothes. We're on our way to the movies. All right, family. We out. Peace. You already washed the dishes? I'll wash the dishes later. Uh, you, I